Peace and love, y'all. It's your girl, Sophia. And I'm chilling with DME TV. Anyway. Who made this? Who made this? Way too much flex. flex. Not enough hustle. Huh? Things are working out. Yeah. I got it off the muscle. Yeah. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. Yeah. But now they looking because they never know what's in the dust. How you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. So what you been up to? Man. Talk to me. Everything and nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's what I always say. Everything and nothing. I've been doing a whole lot of um, planning and a whole lot of writing and um, a whole lot of preparing. So at this point right now, I'm just ready to let things take off and, you know, let the rubber hit the road. Yeah. Yeah. Now to be honest, you know, I feel I feel like this needs no introduction. Okay. Everybody <laughs> should know. But we know there's people out there that don't know. Okay, yeah, yeah, no doubt. No so doubt. let these people know who you is. You know what I mean? Alright, no doubt. Well, I'm so fire and um, I'm healing from Georgetown, South Keck. Uh, I'm an artist. I really don't deem myself as uh, a rapper or a singer, but uh, like I said, I'm an artist and I create. So, um, however it comes to me, that's how I kick it. Um, so yeah, I sing, I rap, um, you know what I'm saying? I do my thing behind the camera, you feel me? So, you know, I do a little bit of everything. And um, like I said, I'm just ready for these things to all roll up into a big old snowball and come running over your ass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that, so. Give a rundown of some of the projects that, that you done been featured on or in, because you, you've been working. I, I've, I've done a couple things. Um, I, I did a couple years ago uh, the Benjamin Project. It was a uh, indie film here shot in Georgetown, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Uh, shout out to the Allegiance and uh, Folk. Uh, big care of everybody out there. You know what I'm saying? My people's over there. Um, we did that. We... Um, you know, we have it on YouTube, actually, so check it out. Yeah, The Benjamin Project. Um, recently, and uh, this will be actually airing uh, this spring, um, I shot an episode of uh, United Shades of America. And uh, so on that show, um, shout outs to uh, W. Kamal Bell. He's a really down-to-earth, cool dude. I, I really enjoyed um sharing with him about South Carolina history and um, the Gullah Geechee culture. So uh, y'all check that out in the spring 2018. It'll be airing on CNN. And um, so yeah, just like I said, I just, I got so many things, so, so many things in my bag Man. that I'm stirring up and I'm ready to pull on out and share with the world. So it's, uh, just thank you for rocking with me right now. That's so. I got I got a chance to hear what was that song you performed at the um at the support your own the other night when you came in there with the with the red and black lumberjack and all uh, yeah, that shit was yeah yeah you create you create a vibe when you like don't a lot of people don't do that and when you like you say you're an artist mm -hmm. you're not just like when you the way you the way you did it that shit was. It was Thank something you. different, you know what I mean? Thank you. I really appreciate that. And I respect that. that shit, like... I appreciate that. But yeah, um, the name of that track that I did was Closer to My Dreams. And um, it was um, Guapale originally. She did that joint. Shouts out to her because I love her. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I had to jump on the beat real quick. Yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah. What age... Were you when you wrote your first song? Wow, when I wrote my first song. When I actually wrote it down, because yeah. I mean, I was making music, I was making up songs since I was like, yeah, hi, yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. But actually sat down and wrote a song, I would say I was probably about 14. 14? Yeah. See, I, I had to ask that because I mean, like, when I hear your music and certain people, I don't know. I gotta. I, I want to understand their process of music mm. compared to like other people. You know word, what I mean? Word, word, word. I dig that. So I asked that. What's your what's your what's your studio in the set? What you need when you 
What do you need to get yourself in the mode to write? Uh, well, uh, you know. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? I got the burn this in, see it, check. But, um, you know, just good vibes, man. Just good yeah. vibes that I definitely, I have to have, I have to feel the music. Yeah, yeah. I have to feel the music. If I don't feel the music, ain't nothing coming out. You know, so, but yeah, if I feel it, it's, oh my God, it don't tell me what happened. You know. I got you. Mm-hmm. That's dope. That's dope. Mm-hmm. So fire. So fire, baby. <laughs> How that name came about? Ah. Uh, Aha. Uh-huh. That's my buzz looking spoon right now. <laughs> <laughs> so fire. How did that come about? Actually, um, I attribute that name to my peoples from, um, from St. Croix. They actually gave me that name back in 2006. Yeah. Yeah, and I just been rocking with it ever since. So you know, that shit stuck like glue. So you know what I'm saying? That's what's up. Go here, go there. There's fire. <laughs> That's her. Uh-huh. Me and you both know 2018 about to be a big year. Oh God, yeah. Yeah. For, for for this great state we in. Oh yeah, believe that. Believe that. <laughs> give me, give me, give me a, a little prediction. What you, how, how, how you seeing things panning out for South Carolina by this year? Um, you know it's crazy that you ask that because, you know, I feel like the heavy hitters that have been making moves are now so more making way for other people, mm-hmm. and um. I think it's really dope, like, you know, people like Charlamagne the God and um, you got DJ B Lord, like these are people who have been, you know, world renowned, you know. No. People people know them everywhere. And um but they're from South Carolina, you yeah, know. Yeah. And they're making that way, you know, like shouting out people, you know, that they know from home that's yeah, doing their yeah. thing and you know what I mean? So I think that's, I think it's really dope, you know, that we can all organically um, just grow from each other's success and, you know what I'm saying, just, you know, build. I think it's really I'm going to ask this, I'm going to ask this question. I'm going to, I'm going to stir up a little bit of heat. I don't um, know, I guess. Let me embrace myself. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. In this music, <laughs> in this music business, entertainment business, it's a lot of people that done came from South Carolina mm-hmm. that done made it somewhere, did something, been in position to do something, mm-hmm. are still in position to do something. Mm-hmm. But these people do not say they're from South Carolina. Or like, mm-hmm. why is that? Well, I mean, my personal take on it is that um, maybe these folks didn't get the love that they felt like they should have gotten from home. So it's like, why should I? Yeah. You know what I mean? Why should I show love to a place that never showed love to me? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's that's really kind of up to the individual to, you know, make that decision, you know, whether they're going to be you know, 100 about shit like that yeah, or not, yeah. you know what I mean? But I think it's always it's always best to, you know, keep it real for home. You got to keep it real for the home. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. What's the best area in South Carolina to you? The best area for what? For you, period. In general, like your... Your peace spot in South Carolina, like, I don't know, everybody got like a little area they go to and they just feel at home in a sense. I feel at home right here in the four three, baby. A four three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel, you know, God bless me, so I'm kind of like, um, I'm good wherever I go. Yeah. You know what I mean? But um, I love home. I, I love, I love being Geechee. Yeah, you know, yeah. I love my people. You know what I'm saying? Even when they don't love me. Yeah. You feel me? Um, and I want the world to know about this place because, I mean, we have a beautiful culture and um, our history is just out of this world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's, it's something that the world needs to know about. So, you know, 843, baby. 
Yeah. yeah, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I rocks with the A64 and the 803 too. You know what I'm saying? It's love all across the board. Like I said, I'm good wherever I go. Yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, I love my home. Yeah. <laughs> what project what, what, what project we got coming up from you next? Oh, man. Any singles, videos? <sighs> definitely. Definitely going to be working on something really, really, really special. What you got? Special. What you got your mind set on? Um... I don't want to talk too much about it, you know uh, what I'm saying? Because I want it to be a treat. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to really enjoy what we what we got coming your way. Um, but all I can say is that it's going to be uh, paying homage to uh, one of the greats, uh, the motherfucking goat himself, Spike Lee. You feel me? Um, so yeah, I uh, can't wait. Really, can't wait to you know get that out there to you guys, but. What you like? What you what you like about Spike the most? Um, his approach to real life, real situations, uh, and real things. Yeah. I love the way that he brings it all together artistically, and I love the fact that. Um, he was able to just create a such such a distinct style, and you know, just to be this person, this this activist. Really, you know, he he was he is an activist through his film. So, to me, you know, me, you think you know, I'm the 21st century Angela Davis or what else? So, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm all for that. So, uh, yeah. Give me your top five dead or alive. All right. Top five that I love. Now this is this is this is sticky for me because I don't just listen to one kind of music, you check. But um, if I could say my top five artists of all time, music wise, um, I would definitely have to go with number one, Weezy behind me, <laughs> and um, that's Robert Nesta Marley, and. I take him with me wherever I go, usually. And honestly, I really believe that um, when you create on the level that he created, you never die. Yeah. You know, and. Um, Timeless. Exactly, exactly. For eternity, he'll live on. And um, so my next would be uh, definitely <laughs> uh, Billy Holiday. And the uh, reason why I say that is because she was like a renegade in her time. If you don't know anything about Billie Holiday, you should definitely check out her backstory. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, she's, she was, she is <laughs> so dope. Once again, another one I feel that lives on, you know, through the likes of people such as myself. Um, Nina Simone, again, another renegade of our time. Um, speaking of renegades, <laughs> Jay-Z, you know, um, I've always loved him. I've always loved him since I was a kid. And, um, you know, like fine wine, he just keeps getting better. Um, so where am I at? That's what, three or four? Three. That's three. All right. Um, let's see. El Boogie. I could not go on without talking about Arm and Hell. Like, seriously? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Lauren Hell. Um, just everything about her is, is just dope to me. You know, I, I just love the way that she was able to um, reach people, you know, in her time and actually made our little dumb young asses sit down and think about some shit. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of music that I make and I seek to make in the future. You know what I mean? That people can actually listen to five years, ten years, twenty years from the time that it originates and they can still feel it resounding yeah. in their spirit. You feel me? And um, she definitely is the goal of that. Real for our time. Um... Got one more left, right? One more. 
<laughs> Let me see. Last one, though. Last one, boy. That's this tough. This Last real one. tough. I ain't gonna lie. This Let's tough. See. Number uh, five harder than number one. I'm shaking. Or vice versa. I'm shaking. Depending on, on how you count them. One to five or five to one. Oh, gosh. Um... Let me see. Who's gonna be the last one? Gosh. People probably never believe I say this, but I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to really um, specify when I say this. Kanye West. Kanye. Easy. Old Kanye West, though. Pre Pre Kardashian. Pre Kardashian Kanye. Please bring him back. Come back, Kanye. Pre-first Nike deal, Kanye. Come, come back, Kanye. Because after he started fucking with the shoes, that nigga started losing it. We really need I like shoes. Kanye, though. Kanye, though. Yeah. And he is, once again, an artist. You know what I'm saying? He ain't just a rapper. You know, like, he really creates. He, he creates. He, he he makes it from, from nothing. Like, he breathes life into the shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. From the beat to... To the concept, to to everything, like that. Um, that that deep. What's it? What was it called? That deep, twisted fantasy shit. Yeah, that dark, mm, twisted. dark, dark, dark twisted that fantasy. Dope, that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. right. yeah, yeah, wanna, yeah. Like that shit was next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I um, can respect that one. I ain't. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say nothing bad about. Kanye. You ain't gonna say nothing. I mean, bad. don't say nothing bad about Kanye now. Kanye just went. I say I see pre that shit going now. The new Kanye still around. I don't know how to do this. Uh, but it's funny how the way how she said <clears throat> the old Kanye, like how niggas used to break down the different Luther Vandrosses back there, like Luther, <laughs> Luther, Luther, Luther. <laughs> she was like, old Kanye now, like. I ain't fucking, I ain't fucking with Turkey Nate Luther now. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, big quick, curly, ain't quite right, nah, Luther. Nah, nigga, skinny Luther, nigga, give me skinny Luther. That was hilarious. That was really funny. Either the all the way chunky Luther or the skinny Luther. Yeah. I don't want, I don't want, want the Turkey Nate like, Luther. Like, you want skinny Luther, Luther with the slick? Now I'm figuring you want fat with the Jerry girl. He was a little sick. He was frail or something. Turkey neck little man. Turkey neck little shit. He ain't even feeling too good. He had the Al Sharpton popping off. Hey yo, no disrespect to Luther man. But we love Luther. Damn, that's crazy. I always love you. Kanye West. I know, it's like, that's why I said five, come on, like, that's like, just disrespectful for me to even have to name five Quick people, question, cause... quick question, quick question. Do you think it'd be the money me. driving these these people to, like, you know, like, they'd be like the Illuminati and the <laughs> secret society type of shit, you know what I mean? But do you think it's the money that's driving them crazy or just the people that call their phone begging for money that's driving them crazy? You mean the people that actually like? Which one would you? Which 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 would you think? Which what would you think be the root of them going fool? I ain't the people call. Cause they can just change numbers. So it's just so what is it? Nah, it's it just think about all that power. Yeah. Say it again. You can have all money. You can have money and not have power though. No, I mean no. It's just that that self power you got. You got. It's like I got. 50 million more dollars more than what I had yesterday like what the fuck like uh -huh. you gotta think about like how you gonna keep that shit from the rest of the world cause shit you gonna be looking over your shoulder like that shit gonna have you paranoid like, you just smoked some of the best weed you ever had like well I got all this money like who the fuck about to try and take it from me like you gonna be looking yeah, you over your shoulder you may think that way but I mean you might have like 10 black cards you might have some in the damn a mattress, you might have some money in the bank, you might have shit scattered all over the place, tough I mean, paranoid. And, and you know, I you might even go to Africa like Dave Chappelle for a little while, like, fuck it, I need to do it. <laughs> like, I need to, I need to get away. Like, I'm, I'm going, I'm going to Nigeria in November. For like, oh, for like, like, I'm going to buy me an elephant oh, and a giraffe, <laughs> I'm going to chill the fuck out. <laughs> Work up with my people real quick, Nigeria. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm yeah. with that. I'm yeah. with that. But um no I really I really feel like I feel like if you if you go crazy when you get money it was always in you. That that's what how I feel about this shit. Like you probably been wanting to go crazy and I ain't just got the money to do it. Like right. 
to, and get away fight. with it. You, you know what I'm saying? Like you backing to do what you want. Right, exactly. <laughs> you know, I could pay. I could buy me a lawyer though. Cause guess uh, what? Yeah. So what I fuck so, about? You know, I got the way out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, so I feel like when Ford, people who go crazy a, like that, they were always that. Way. Ford sell you a bad car. You could drive that Fusion through the front window of that okay. bitch. Get you a lawyer. Like, look, what you gonna do to me? I got money. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> If he was to if he was to make a million dollars a night, what would be the first thing you buy in the morning? I wouldn't just be pressed to just spend the money. I, I, would, I would have crazy. said breakfast or some shit. I mean, like just something normal. Like I wouldn't even breakfast. I probably would have got to eat for if breakfast. It was me. They wouldn't even. I was just like, I got to eat for breakfast. But first money I spend the <laughs> next day, like anything that's mine that I'm leasing, I go pay all that shit off right then and there. Definitely. Uh, we'll so definitely like, get them up so like, 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 <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. if you got like you got like a like you know shit, a double wide trailer somewhere and just like shit, you pay payments on like look here, if I got the money, go ahead and pay that bitch off, like hey, I'm about to own this today. Right. This car that I'm paying on, you know, I'm about to own that too, like right, you know right. shit. Credit cut it down, shit, like you said, pay whatever loans you got, get that shit right and just Right. Rebuild. Like, why not? Right. Hmm. That's but you know, I own think your shit, then invest your shit. That's it. Um, I think like for me, I don't know if this is a a gift or a curse. I don't. I'm not. I'm not really sure yet about what it is. But I just know that, um, like a lot of people. They want to make it into the industry so that they can get rich. Yeah. It's not really my thing. Because you more of you an artist, so your outlook on on it gonna be totally different because you constantly creating, whether it's music right. or whatever. Right. Right. So many different mediums. Like. Yeah. Somebody know. who's solely dependent on somebody want to get the most out of it. Right. And I wanna. I just wanna be that vessel that I was created to be. And I sincerely believe that by me being that vessel that it will, I will see that return, you know? Yeah. More so, 10 times more so than if I were just focusing on doing it mm -hmm. so that I could be recognized or doing it so that I could make money or you know what I'm saying? And this, in this day and age, like, I don't know, that shit weird as hell. Because you can weird. be like it's, it's kind of like you, it's kind of like they want you to be I'm thinking commercial like commercial in that sense. You know the what rate, I'm saying? Like, at the rate, you know, at the rate this shit going at, in order for you to blow up, like, you literally might have to have a needle hanging out your arm and shit. Like, a oh, fucking... That's crazy that you say that. That's, yeah, that's You got, true, like, though. a fucking syrup fountain right. idea or some shit, like... Yeah, now you popping. If you got, if you using drugs and shit, or like anything murderous. Yeah, anything negative. Your ass blowing up overnight. The anything, song don't even gotta be negative. about shit, except for you don't have to drugs and killing. Thing. You know the crazy thing. But motherfucker make a song about how a nigga can wake up in the morning and be rich by the end of the day, and motherfucker won't even listen to that shit. See, I also feel because he talking too much in it, like. And niggas want to hear 10 when, words. When did we get so timed out? When did we get so. <laughs> 10 words in all beat. And this is how we if got so more than 10 down. words, that shit is Because it's like, like, now all these new rappers and everything, if you ask me, they're just new school actors. Because if you think about it like this, with all the drugs and bullshit, think about it. You really think. If you could think about a gimmick, how to get rich quick, mm -hmm. just like a motherfucker playing stupid to go into an insane asylum versus going to damn yeah. regular prison. Mm -hmm. My thing is, especially with like, all right, just that little white boy, little pump or whatever, then with the Gucci gang shit. Yeah, yeah. Now you really think his rich ass parents go because. I know he ain't in those streets hustling, doing none of the dumb shit he claimed he doing. So you really think his white parents really approve of him doing the Gucci gang, all that shit, what he doing, putting on that front? Because if you ask me, the reason why I say they're new school actors because I feel certain motherfuckers wake up every morning, put their little bullshit ass fronts in their mouth, get their little dreads dyed over every day, yeah. put their little bullshit on whoever's sponsoring yeah, their yeah. they bullshit. Yeah. 
they go out and just do their shit, and when the cameras is off, they take that bullshit off oh, and go hey, back Fred, to the regular damn. <laughs> yeah, because See, there like, ain't no way because most fuckers would have been done goddamn dead by now with all the fucking drugs that they really doing all that shit. Yeah. If, you, if you ask me personally, I feel Future is one of them. I don't feel he doing all that Molly and bullshit because it's but like... He, I, think, I think he done said he don't do the drugs that he say he rap about, like... But he no fucking want to hear that shit. He probably used to at one point, but like, rap about it? because that's what's fun. That that's what's it, feeling. Would you see how wack that is? But it's the perception because in his how videos, motherfuckers see him with a double cup. So even if he say he don't do it, man, I seen that nigga with the cup. He drink lean. You ain't gonna tell me I'm gonna drink something. That's like, like right, that's how they get on it. That's, that's, that's like Xanax. Okay, I don't know how many people probably try Xanax, but. If you a fucking rapper and you taking Xanax, ain't no way in hell you making money. Or like you even <laughs> making music or fucking on Thanks. top of your finances, on top of who really with you and who's stealing from you type shit. Because when you wake up, you don't remember shit. Like that shit, like a mind eraser or some crazy ass shit. Though, like, you really need somebody to join your hip and tell you, like, look, yeah. and motherfuckers be eating what like, you did last night. yeah, like you so, and you. These dudes rapping while taking like ten zans, uh, pouring land zans and lean and shit. Like my dude, is you fucking serious? Like, like, trying to get these trying to have heart attack. Yeah, like and see uh, the bad shit is when motherfuckers up. listening do that shit. That's why you have the kids wrecking cars and like what's in their system? Shit, a half a bottle of syrup and a handful of pills. Like goddamn, really? Like, like who the fuck told you that? Oh, Lil Pump, Future, this one, that one, that one, that one. It's like they ain't really doing that shit. Mm -hmm. They selling it, but they're not doing it. The fans that want to reach out there to you, what's your social media? You can check me out at Sophia843 on the gram. And you can check me out at Sophia, Sophia Jackson on Facebook. Pat, pat, pat. Anybody you want to shout out before we get out of here? Oh, yeah. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, much love to uh, my family here in the Route 4. Yeah, you know. Yeah, George, shout on the map, baby. Baby, we about to do big things. Please believe it. Um, let me see who else. My mother. I love you, gal. Always will. Uh, my brother, my family, you know what I'm saying? Y'all hold me down. Uh, my big cousin, E-Money. Um, we in here, baby. <laughs> and uh, the whole South CAC, man. We out, we out here. You know what I'm saying? Let's link up. Let's make this thing happen. Way too much flexing, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the dust.